business called Childish Photography. Just interested, what brought you to Port? Um, my husband and I, like everybody else in Port, came for a sea change. We have two um, teenage children and we wanted, we thought the lifestyle would be much better for them. And Port was somewhere that we wanted to end up being in, in the end. So that's why we're here. Excellent, excellent. So photography is a fascinating business and there's a lot of photographers around. What, what's one thing that people ask you over and over again about photography? I think they look at the work and they say, oh, how do, you, how do you get the children to look like that and how, you know, how do you get those expressions to be real? Um, I think that's probably my little, my little niche is that there's no cheese at Childish. So I think um, that's, that's the difference and I guess it's how do I get people to relax and to be honest, I'll just let the kids go feral in the studio. Great. And in terms of your business name, it's called Childish Photography. Does that somewhat limit your market somehow? Yeah, lots of people have said that, but I've decided, I've sort of counteracted that with the, with the phrase that um, childish is, a, is purely um, a, not an age, it's a state of mind. So I was, this last week I had a couple of 85-year-old uh, kids in for photos and they were treated no differently to a four-year-old and the photos are beautiful. Yeah. Fabulous. Excellent. So having moved to Port, you didn't know anyone here who was starting your business from scratch? Uh, exactly. I didn't know... Um, I sold. So to be honest, the network was one of the first ports of call. I think I got there on day four of being in right. port, first breakfast. Um, by the second breakfast, I was up and running. So I, I actually took a photo of them to the breakfast and I held it up and I had my minute on my business and I said, girls, I need your help. And to be honest, I think I got three phone calls. Um, you know, four people come up to me after the meeting and, and numerous emails. So just the support that's important required for women in business is amazing. Terrific. And what other techniques did you employ to build your business when you were new to town? I guess the, the trouble with small businesses when you come to town is by the time you get here and you set up, there's no money left. So mm -hmm. a lot of my stuff was marketing on shoestring. And I, one of the key things for me was a bit of strategic alliancing. And what that means is that you go and find other um, people who are in your same target market but are in competition with you. And you work together. So for me, it was you know Love Baby Warehouse, where the baby shop is. I'm working in with the, the the hospital, the maternity wing, the chemist that does the bounty bags and things like that. So you just have to look, you know, just yeah, creative yeah. in your thinking. Okay, true. And you use marketing quite well and quite strategically. I mean, we notice childish photography everywhere we look around Port Macquarie. Um, is that something that you've done before, or is that something you've particularly focused on doing up here? Um, probably up here more so, the business um, back down in Victoria had years to grow, um, whereas here, I got here and it had to work, and it had to work really quickly, um, but again, you know, the dollars are tight, so had to, to make sure that where you advertised was, you know, very strategically placed, so things like everyone says I have the bus seat, well I only actually have one, but it happens to be at the front of the same number, <laughs> you know, so it's just about where you put Positioning. Yeah, positioning, positioning, absolutely very. Yeah. Right. And so, in terms of other people who are, you know, maybe building up their business or uh, starting a business or maybe struggling a little bit at the moment, what would be your three top tips in terms of being in business? One would be to surround yourself with people who, um, who that can mentor you. So, people. That, I mean, there's so many mentoring groups in Port. You know, the, the network. Just get yourself around other women who are doing what it is that you know, or similar businesses to you. Um, what else? Just so those strategic alliances. For yeah, oh, the, yeah, exactly right. The strategic alliances, um, and just asking others what's worked for them. So yeah, just terrific. Chatting. And yeah. obviously, love your business because you seem to really enjoy your space and where you are. Yep, yeah, love it. Love, 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 it. love coming to work every day. I think if you're not passionate about what you do, it just won't work. Terrific. Mm -hmm. So with your business and the people you've got in it, you're building out a little bit more now, you've got some staff happening, um, you're moving into different directions in terms of not just kids photography but older kids, um, and what else do you do in terms of photography? Um, well we're just having a studio renovation at the moment and uh, that's opening up a, a bit of a wider um, scope for us. So we'll be getting into corporate photography, so beautiful headshots and things like that for those people who are in corporate work and they need a really lovely photograph of themselves, so that's something that we're branching into um, yeah, this coming year. Fabulous. And in terms of being part of the network, you mentioned before it was one of the first groups you joined when you came to town. What are the benefits you get from being in the network and, and how do you contribute back into that community space, if you like? Um, I think one is, is the mentoring that I get from the network. The other is just the fact that when you're in a woman in business, and a lot of us are on our own, that having a breakfast uh, once a month with some big people 
other than just your kids. It's just fabulous. I, I just really enjoy that. Um, and I really love trying to put my bag somewhere different each time. It's really easy to go and sit with the people that you normally sit with. So it's about trying to... And I mean, I've been in the network for nearly three years and I still don't know the room. So, yeah. Wonderful. Excellent. So if people want to know more about childish photography and Kylie Biltris, how do they find you? Um, we're at Shop 3, Port Marina, which is just opposite Settlement City. Or you can jump on the website at www.childishphotography.com.au and we also have... Uh, quite a good presence on Facebook. Fabulous. And of course, you're at the network events all the time. <laughs> of course. So, Carly, thank you very much for your time and all the best for your continuing successful business. <laughs>